Hello YouTube! Today I'm going to talk about the Peltier element, also known as TEC. It stands for Thermoelectric Conductor. Um, the basic function of a Peltier element is the reversed thermoelectric effect that is used to measure temperatures with uh, thermocouplers. It's the so-called Seebeck effect. It causes two different metals, if welded together or held in close contact, to produce a particular voltage depending on the th uh, temperature. So a Peltier element uses this effect to transport heat from one side of the particular body to the other side when a current is applied. So these elements they uh, are used in um, refrigerators or the cheap refrigerators you can buy for boats and cars and by hardcore computer nerds who wants to modify the cooling on their on their computers. So the particular element I have here, I pulled out of a cheap refrigerator and um, the element is about 40 millimeters wide and 40 millimeters the other way. And the th uh, thickness of this uh, element is about 7 millimeters. So it will fit really nice in between a CPU cooler and the CPU. Uh, here I have uh, hooked up two uh, heat sinks. The top one uh, with fan on it. It's the hot side of the of the element, and uh, at the bottom you have the cool side. So I have this uh, thermal monitoring device. At the top it's 30.2 degrees Celsius, and on the cool part it's 10.5 degrees Celsius. So it has a good cooling effect. Um, but the tiny PT100 element I have just smashed down in a bowl of thermal grease so it could be connected better but just to show you the principles of this element. When I pull it out of the refrigerator um, this tiny control circuit was attached to it. Um, I was thinking maybe this uh, did something to the voltage like if you put 12 volts in it, it would give maybe 7 or 8 volts to the element, but this is not the case. Uh, I have um, monitored the voltage and the output to the element is the same as the input to the device. So it will probably run just fine if I chop the element off right here and put it in my computer. I just uh, use a standard Molex connection to hook it up to my ATX power supply. I'm actually using a ATX power supply just now to power the device. So this could be a really cheap solution. I'm not sure about the effect because this element has 60 watts of power consumption. That does not mean that it has 60 watts of cooling efficiency. Uh, it just means that it draws 60 watts from the power supply. Um, there is a lot of things you can do to make some numbers out that, yeah, if you have a 60 watt uh, element, it will cool 30 watts, or I don't know. I will find out the hard way. I will hook this up to my computer and I will see how much it cools down my CPU. So, um,. I will probably use one of my old rigs, a uh, Pentium 4 processor or something like that, because they're really easy to overclock and they get really hot, so it will show you the difference between the cooling solutions. I will use standard uh, water cooling on the CPU, and then I will apply this uh, Peltier element in between the water block and the CPU. Um, there are some problems with using Peltier elements as well, like if your fan stops or your pump in your water cooling um, rig stops. Uh, the Peltier element is made out of uh, some kind of ceramic compound. The problem with this is that it does not transfer heat very good at all. So your computer or your CPU would get really hot and the water in the cooling solution don't absorb that heat. So your CPU will over 
overheat. So, uh, the other problem is that if the water cooling system shuts down or the fan stops, it will get really, really hot. So, it will maybe boil the water in the water, water cooling solution or burn down something inside your computer and the CPU will probably shut off, sh uh, shut off because of the overheat protection but the problem is that the element is still very warm so it mel may fry our CPU even after it has shut down but I don't care about the old CPUs so I will try it out anyways um, the other thing is when you cool something down below the temperature of the room or ambient temperature you will get condensation and um, when I feel this it's moist it's full of condensation because this is 10 degrees celsius and this is 30 and the ambient temperature in the room is about 21, 22 degrees celsius so this is one of the problems uh, when you have this in a computer this will probably not get as cool as this because the CPU makes a lot of heat and that heats up the elements so it will probably not get below the, cri uh, the critical temperature of the condensation temperature or what you will call it um, but there is a possibility if you buy a more expensive Peltier element that you will have condensation in your computer and that fries your motherboard. Um, many people say yeah but the water is really clean and everything yeah but there's dust in the air and that's enough to make the water ionized and that makes the water conduct electricity so it will kill your motherboard. Um, yeah it depends on the place you live and how much air humidity it is. Um, if it's high on humidity it will condensate even easier. I live in Norway so it is kind of dry air up here but if you live in a place that it's moist you will not have the possibility to cool down your CPU as much as other places like in the desert. So. Uh, one of my next videos will be about this Peltier element hooked up to one of my computers. So it will be interesting to say, see how efficient this is. So until the next time.